talk to you a little bit about the video you're about to see about this card. I started to make this card by stamping it and then putting it in my on the go bag, which I have a video about. I did the background when I had my first infusion at the VA for my Rituxan, which was a six hour IV infusion. I have a little bit of video, which is about to follow me getting my infusion. I'm whispering, because I didn't want to bother anybody. While I'm about to start work on this card, I had just been working on another card, uh, which I can't find right now. I don't know where I put it. Story of my life. I'm gonna play that part of the video for you, which I did a live feed on Facebook and then I just downloaded it to my computer and now I'm editing it into this YouTube video. And then I'm gonna edit in how I finished off in this lovely card. And I hope you enjoy it. That's it, bye. Well, it's happening. I'm getting it. Stuff's going in there. And that's okay. Feeling fine. And they're really nice to me. They even gave me water to drink. I really like those flowers. I hope you like them too. In any case, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great day. And just remember, life is good. Life is, life is better than good. Life is Love ya. Mean it. Wish you were here. I did the background with many distress inks. And now I want to finish this card. This the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. I love them. The stamp set that I'm using, the sentiments. I'm going to use You Are Blooming Marvelous on the envelope. This sentiment on the inside. I will be the gladdest thing under the sun. I will touch a hundred flowers and not pick one. Right now, I'm going to paint these using the Zig and water brush. I think you're in close enough. Let me, let me see, maybe I could pull you in just a little bit more. How about like that? For the grasses, since I have this cool green, I think I'm gonna go with this OD green, olive drab green, my army green that I love so much. See, I'm just gonna make it green. And it's okay if it's messy. I'm gonna even do these with this green down here. I had a lot of fun while I was getting my infusion. And if you would like to friend me on Facebook, I have uh, under Lee M. Kali Endeavors, please feel free to do so. I do live things on there frequently. So you can see me chatting live in my little studio here and being all goofy, my normal self. I love painting and I love the rain. My mama, when she built the house, had that pro the lot closest to the highway. She subsequently brought the property all the way back to the 40 acre canal. We live along by Lafouche, in Lafouche Parish, and you can only go 40 acres back because of the marsh and the gulf and the saltwater intrusion. And our house is really close to the road and cars have hit our house. So you can hear the cars passing, particularly now that it's raining, you can really hear them passing. I'm used to it. It, it really doesn't bother me in the least. When I was little, we have thunderstorms here in southern Louisiana in the marsh on a regular basis in the summer. It just, it rains. That's what it does. My mom didn't want us to be afraid of thunderstorms since they happen like on almost a daily basis in the afternoons. She would sit us in a rocker in front of the big picture window in our front room, which I'm not in. I'm in what used to be the carport. Okay, so I've decided since I've that it looked kind of painterly, I decided to just go with it and add water and green stuff all over and or just water and make it look more like watercolor.
Okay, I think I had this thing off a lot. I've been working on this. But this is where I am. I have put some blue in to fill in. Blue bled into my pink flowers and that made me mad. But I can fix that. Might as well. Bloop. Bloop. Did you know that the largest color molecule is blue and the smallest color molecule is red? That is why red stains your clothes and blues don't. Fun little fact right there. Red stains more than anything else because it has the smallest molecule. There we go. Dun dun dun. Zoom out so you can see in the card. Just have that on the front. Uh, unless I find something else that I want to put on there. But I think that will be sufficient. I think it's just pretty like that. I'm going to dry it right now. But I'll spare you that because that's kind of loud. I'll be right back. Okay, I figure I should let you see where I'm at. When I went to stamp the sentiment in the card, it kind of smeared i improvised i have pieces of cardstock left over from another project and i just stamped it on that put it in there and since it says i will be the gladdest thing under the sun i have a little sun right there put it on there and then some of the watercolor from the other side had seeped over onto this side so I just watercolored pale green all over on the inside to do something a little different because I'm kooky that way. So here we have the card. And then I went crazy with the Wayne Costello. Oh yeah, it's on all the flowers and on the sentiment. That's the card. Now for the envelope, if you have a long sentiment and you want to know how to get it on straight, put it down. And then take your thing and you go bump and it's always going to be straight every single time. Now I got my stays on. Oh, I love the way that smells. And my stays on is nice and juicy because I kept that little thing. And try to get it even. If I do, great. If I don't, that's okay too because I'm cookie that way. You are blooming marvelous. And look card done a summer card tell you what y'all have a great day if you like my video give me a thumbs up subscribe do all that good stuff and come back and see me yay